and welcome to the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Long Island, New York. We're here today just having a ton of fun and exploring all of the incredible space items here. In fact, just behind me, you can see a parachute that flew to the moon and back with NASA's Apollo 17 mission. So follow me around and let's see what incredible space memorabilia we can find. Um, so we're standing in front of a piece of Apollo history right now. Okay, this is the actual simulator for the lunar module. So it's basically the inside of the ascent stage. And this was at Cape Kennedy. So every astronaut landed on the moon trained in this simulator. It, it's opened up like a clamshell. It would have been closed up with projectors and cameras and screens behind the windows. So when they worked the controls, it would simulate coming down and landing on the moon. So it's really one of the more important uh, artifacts left from the Apollo program. So this is Lunar Module LM-13, and it's one of the only original, one of only three original lunar modules still on Earth. And this would have been, had the Apollo program continued, there were supposed to be three more landings, Apollos 18, 19, and 20, that were all canceled. So this would have gone to the moon on Apollo 19. Yeah. And it would have landed on the moon, and it wouldn't be here. And it wouldn't be this clean. <laughs> That's right. So the lunar module, uh, as you can see, it's a really unusual looking spacecraft. It's the only true spacecraft and it never had to fly through an atmosphere, mm -hmm. either leaving the Earth or launch from the Earth. So that's why it could take any shape they needed. It needed no aerodynamic qualities whatsoever. If they needed to add on a component or a pallet on the side, they could just stick it. Never had to worry about things like drag or whatever. It's purely utilitarian shape. And the uh, lunar module is composed of two stages. A descent stage on the bottom, which had the descent rocket engine, was used for landing on the moon. It had all life support equipment, electronics in it, fuel, mostly fuel. And the top half, the ascent stage, where they lived on the moon, and that's where they were during landing and then lifting off the moon. And from what I understand, we have a lunar module clean room around the corner. Sure. Let's Want go to check it out? Let's go yeah, take let's a look. Check it out. <laughs> Right, so we're here in the clean room okay. for, is, would this, is this kind of a mock-up of the clean room for the lander that we just saw? Uh, yeah, kind of. This okay. is LTA-1, which is uh, lunar module test article number one, and this is the first lunar module ever built. It never had the outer skin put on it or the legs, and it's basically kept it grumbling for the whole program, and this is where they worked out all their techniques for building the spacecraft, mm -hmm. and this is where they ran all pressure tests, electrical tests, so it's basically a real lunar module without the skin on it, which is really cool, because then people could see the inside, and you, you can, can point see out, the skeleton you, of you can it. see yeah. the skeleton, you can see all the fuel tanks, you can, can see, see the fuel the tanks for the descent the stage, the ascent and stage, and, and really, it's, you can see how remarkably flimsy the vehicle is in that, you know, because weight is so critical when you're landing on the moon, because the heavier you are, the more fuel you have to burn hovering around looking for a place to land. So they made the lunar module as light as possible. Uh, when it was empty, it weighed 12,000 pounds, and when it was fully fueled, it weighed 32,000 pounds. So most of the weight is fuel. And if you walk over and tap on the side of the spacecraft, <laughs> That's two one thousandths of an inch thick. Wow. That's like a soda can. So this is really, you know, the bare bones. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it was designed, again, wow. purely utilitarian. This is what the engineers worked out. was the simplest possible vehicle, lightest possible vehicle to get to the moon. And obviously it worked on every uh, lunar landing, which is just amazing. Mm -hmm. 